Hey guys, Complex Render here. Um, first, before I start any tutorials or anything, I just want to say thank you to all the people who um, have followed me onto this channel from my older channel, Nickelman13. And um, and yeah, basically, at least I know you guys follow my stuff. And uh, let's get started. Uh, this tutorial that I'm making right now. It's going to be a modeling basics tutorial. So I'm going to go over the basic tools that you need to model, show you how to use them, show you what they do, and um, give you some little tips to how to do it. Um, first off, before you model, um, you can either do one or two things. You can either stay in your normal Cinema 4D, or if you um, like everything really organized and not having to go through all these uh, these options up here to find all your tools or any, everything on the top kind of left corner under the undo button there's this uh, kind of like a panel if you click it it's gonna say startup layout animation um, body paint 3d and all this go to the modeling and if you click going to change all of this. It's going to take your texturing um, tab away. It's going to give you your attributes panel and your objects panel. And it's going to give you all your modeling tools down here. And it's going to give you this nice big window right here to model in. Um, I usually don't use this, but it's a little tip because not a lot of people do know about this one. Um, Anyways, let's get started. Um, when you're modeling, depends what you're modeling. Sometimes you use blueprints, sometimes you don't. Um, but basically, uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to insert a cube by clicking and holding on the cubes tab and clicking, going over cube and letting go. And I'm going to get this cube here. And um, it's not much right now, but we can change that. Um, what I'm first thing going to do is, if when you're in the, uh, the use model mode, so the little, uh, the very first uh, option for modes, right here on the left corner, is the orange triangle and the black arrows. You can see on your cube, you have these little orange squares. And these are handles that you can click and drag to resize your object. I'm going to resize my object to about 615 on the z, on the, um, the z axis. And then um, I'm going to click the make editable button which is up here uh, top left above your use model tool. So you can click that or you can simply click C on your keyboard. It'll do the same thing. And what that does is it converts it into an editable polygon. And um, now you can start modeling with this. Uh, the, mod the type modeling that I'm going to be is kind of like a hypernerve modeling. So we're going to be using extrude, um, inner extrude, bevel, the knife tool, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to insert a hypernerve by simply clicking on this green ball inside this cage. And I'm gonna, and then after that, I'm gonna click and drag my cube into a child of my hypernerb. Make sure the arrow is pointing down, and it's gonna be a child. And as you can see, as soon as we do that, our cube is gonna completely deform into this thing. And um, you're probably wondering, what can we do with that? Well, I'm gonna show you. In our object modes go down to the polygon mode and now you're gonna see when I put my mouse over our object these white panels come up on these um, on the polygons and if you click one it's gonna turn yellow and that's gonna let you know it's selected I'm gonna come to the other side of my cube I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click and that's gonna let me select more than one polygon like so and then 
and then you can either do one of two things if you're not actually you can do one of three things if you're not in the modeling mode you can go structure extrude you can right click go to extrude or you can click the extrude button down here and then we're going to extrude our object a little bit and as soon as you do that you can see it completely changes shapes I don't know exactly why it does that but um, it does I guess then after we're done that I'm going to right click and go inner extrude or click on my button here and then I'm just going to inner extrude it a little bit and you notice whatever I'm doing to this side is doing the exact same to that side because we select both polygons and after I inner extrude it a little bit, I'm going to extrude out again a bit so I get kind of like this look right here. And then after that, I'm going to click the inner extrude button again. So you right click, inner extrude, inner extrude a bit, go back to extrude. Actually, before you extrude that one, so I'm going to go Control Z, or you can click the Undo button. I'm going to grab our Scale tool up here, so you can click T or click that. And I'm just going to click. Um, should I do that? I'm going to make it smaller on the Z axis and on the Y axis, like so. And then I'm going to extrude it out again. And on top of that, um, I'm just going to inner extrude them a tiny bit, like so. And I'm going to drag, oops, and then, actually, sorry about all this backspacing, but um, before you inner extrude them, drag the whole wings back as you can see they're like wings and then go inner extrude and inner extrude it and it's going to give you these pointy typed wings and as you can see now we have these long wings and kind of like a body i wonder what we're making hmm confusing isn't it the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to the back of our object and we're going to click on this back polygon I'm going to go to the extrude and I'm going to extrude it a bit um, let's put it around there that should be good I'm going to go in your extrude to make it um, uh, more circular and not end so quickly and then I'm going to click in your extrude again and make a pretty big in your extrude so we have a small circle I'm going to extrude and I'm going to drag in so I get this this kind of tunnel. Hmm, what does this look like? I don't know. And now, um, after we've done this, we've created another polygon up here, which is extremely useful. So I'm going to extrude a tiny bit, like so. And then I'm going to go in here extrude. Actually, you don't need to in extrude this one. So if you did, you can just backspace and then you can grab your um, size tool, grab the red handle or the x-axis one and drag it in until it gets really skinny. It's all up to you for the thing and then if you extrude this which is kind of big and it's very very skinny so we're gonna have to make it bigger is a bit bigger and as I noticed, it was very wide, so I'm going to shrink that too. And then I'm going to try it again. And that is more like it. So I'm just going to drag that back. And then in your extrude. And I get a look like that for kind of like a... a back fin this really big back fin you can make it whatever size you want and then um, I'm gonna come to the front here and instead of using any of these tools 
I'm going to use the bevel. And when we bevel, you can see it goes out and it gets pointy at the same time. That's going to sound wrong for all the immature little kids on YouTube. And um, and after that, I don't want I want the nose of our object, our mystery object that obviously nobody on YouTube knows. Maybe the government knows because they're smart, but um, nobody could ever know what this is. And if you do, your computer's going to blow up right now before you leave a comment. Okay, we got rid of all those people. But anyways, coming back. Under the bevel, it extrudes and it inner extrudes at the same time. And I want the nose of our object to extrude more. So I'm going to come into my uh, attributes panel. And it says extrusion. And I'm just going to... It's not working. Oops. I think it's because I backspaced. So I'm just going to do this again. I'm just going to extrude it a bit. And then I'm going to play with the, the value to get it a bit further out. And I'm going to put a little less inner extrude on it. So we get a nose for our mystery object. After that, I'm going to... I want to use this polygon right here. But I'm noticing that it's very long and I don't want it that long. So I'm going to come into my different views by clicking my, my mouse, my scroll button. Or you can click this little square beside our move, zoom in, zoom out, and rotate. And you click it, it brings it all up. And we have our top view here, which is good. Now what we're going to want to do, you can click on the square in the top view. It'll bring it up. And select this big center polygon here. If you right click and go knife, okay, I have to do this for three minutes. If I don't finish this in three minutes, it's going to be two parts. And then you get this, and right click and go down to knife. And when you go into knife, you can see um, these squares are going to pop up. This is if you turn off or um, if you turn off the hypernerbs it's all squares as you can see the hypernerve just makes it smooth I'm gonna click and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag across my object and as you see holding shift constrains my line and it keeps it perfectly straight I'm gonna cut a bit and then I'm gonna do the same down here and as you can see now it cuts the polygon into more or one more than one polygons. So now, if I click back on my cube, I can select the center polygon of my object and right click, go to bevel, and bevel that one out. And I'm just going to shrink down my inner radius now because um, I, I want it to be smaller. And now we have a little little spot up here for you know people looking out in our jet if nobody's noticed by now okay and um, I'm just gonna put this over here for so I can tell when to stop okay and now what I'm gonna do is on the front of the wing there's a polygon here I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select the other one I'm just gonna inner extrude and then inner extrude Actually, oh, that's not the extrude. From when you select them, use the extrude tool, extrude it a bit, grab the inner extrude tool, ex inner extrude it a bit, and then grab the extrude and extrude it inwards. So just right click, go, right click, go. And now we've got these like uh, intake valves for air. And um, yeah. We've modeled a jet using a simple cube, a hypernerb, and the basic modeling tools in Cinema 4D. The extrude, inner extrude, knife, and um, bevel. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful. These are just simple tools, and you can use this to make many different things. I've got very little time left. Um, I hope this guys helps you. This is the very basics of modeling. Um, please leave a comment if you have any questions, leave a like, and uh, sub if you want to. Alright, peace out.